Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. My name is Fenrir Blackwolf, and in today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at Hilgrid's tomb. Now, I'll show you where it is on the map in a moment, but I wanted to say, while I was going through my playlists, um, the three playthroughs that I was that I was doing for um, Skyrim. One would be the Draco playthrough, the other being the Legacy of the Dragonborn playthrough, and then the other is just the straight-up vanilla playthrough, so three playthroughs. As I was looking through them, I noticed that the Draco playthrough had more episodes, so I figured, you know, while catching up to the Draco playthrough, I figured I would do that and uh, finish that off instead. Now... I know I said that I would, um, you know, do the Thieves Guild, do the Dark Brotherhood, do the Mages Guild, and all that fun stuff. However, I have something a little bit different in mind, um, mainly because in the original Draco playthrough that I did, uh, I didn't actually do those three factions. Um, mainly because it just didn't interest me in the time. Now, Legacy of the Dragonborn, that's a completely, you know, different thing entirely because I will be 100%ing the game. But until I get around to doing that um, and finishing that, um, I'll just be doing the Draco playthrough and actually focusing on the Draco playthrough um, because all I did was the main quest the Dawn Guard, the Companions, and the um, um, Dragonborn DLC. So that's all I did. And that's what I'm going to do this go around as well. So, um, plus, I'm going to basically, to put it simply, this is Draco. I remade him like he was in the original playthrough. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is, is I'm going to use him, uh, uh, for my location walkthroughs and also my house showcases. Um, I know I said that I may or may not do them, but I changed my mind. Now, if you're just coming from the playthrough, um, you know, or you're just coming from my location walkthroughs or, or whatever have you, you know, just so you know, that's that's going to be a thing. So, Hilgrid's Tomb. Let me show you where it is on the map real quick. Hilgrid's Tomb is right here. Right next to Golden Rock and Valthine Tower. So, you basically just follow. You, you actually follow the uh, path to uh, path Valthine, uh, Valthine Towers. And you actually go, um, you know, down this path. And it's just off the beaten path. So... Um, but it has a very dark history to it. And you can actually get a follower from this place. So let us go venture forth. We should put the dead back to their sleep. Ah! Oh, my kind, you startled me. There's a necromancer around here, so watch yourself. Can you help me? He's in the tomb doing God's know what with my dead relatives. Who's in the tomb? Val's Varen. My family has never really seen eye to eye with him. And he has finally gone off the deep end. These He's gone in to defile our family history. tomb by using our ancestors for his filthy dark elf necromancy. My aunt went in after him, but she hasn't come out yet. And I don't think I can take him by myself. You let, you, you let your aunt go in there by herself. <sighs> I'm not proud of it. I'm terrified of that place, and Aunt Agna knows it. My da locked me in there in a drunken rage when he left us. Three days in there eating the offerings left for our dead before Aunt Agna found me. Can you help me? He's in the tomb doing God's know what with my dead relatives. Sure. I thought Great. The crypts would smell I'll unlock bad. the door and it meet you inside. Well then you can lead the way. Mm -hmm. 
We should get after Val's Baron before he does more damage here. What's that? Over here! Well, it went pretty that's how well. it's done. All things considered. Alright. Pretty well lit. I'm, uh, I've changed my E and B. Um, to visceral E and B. So far, I like it. I kind of like it. Is someone there? Look out! Dagna. Oh, Talos. Why didn't I go in with her? He's barred the door. Gods only know how he's defiling the bodies of my ancestors in there. Agna once told me there is a secret room deeper in, where they bury disgraced members of the family. Maybe that will get us into the main chamber. Hey, those belong to my family. <sighs> Fine. Take whatever you want. So long as you help me get rid of Val's. So yeah, so he gets upset, but he's like, you know what? It, it, it is what it is. Mm. You know, he doesn't care. Is someone there? Come on. My god, guys, you're useless. I'm on your side. Oh shit. Careful. There's a pressure plate around here. I've triggered it before and pelted with darts. And here's the pressure plate. Am I missing all these shots? That's the what? end of that. What? 
Come at me, you spider. Spooter. Oh, no, you don't. We make quite a team, eh? Uh huh. Whatever you say, dude. If you're wondering what mod I have installed that, um, that allow, that, that, that's auto looting everything, um, it's called Smart Harvest. Is someone there? Anything useful? This looks like the area Agna told me about. She said that the bear would show the way. You found it. The passage goes through the sarcophagus. Oh, I don't like this. But we'd better keep going. What was that? I think this door should lead to the main burial I've chamber where Valsus holds this. up. Let's get in there and put an end to this. Alright, so make a save here just in case. The dead should be made to serve the living, not the other way around. I'll return my ancestors to Sovngarde, and you with them. Sovngarde is a myth, you swit. And now you can join your ancestors in service to me. Is someone there? Ow. Fuck. Victory. Now. What was that? Oh, no, you don't. What was that? End of that. Never should have come here. <laughs> I'll starve you, Go! 
Oh my fucking god, Lydia. Okay, hold on. Like, thank god I made a save. All right. Let's try this again. Let me see. What 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 arrows do I have? I have ebony arrows, but I don't want to use those. Um, I'm saving the elven arrows. Um, you know what? Let's use the seal arrows. Why the heck not? The dead should be made to serve the living, not the other way around. I'll return my ancestors to Tom. What was that? What was that? Is someone there? Hey, there you are. Another day. Another here. victory. Pay for this. Lucky kid. You think you can take me? Fuck you, asswipe. My god. He's like shooting projectiles and shit. Alright, you know what? The dead should be made to serve the living, not the other way around. I'll return my answer. And you with them. Is someone there? Wait. <laughs> 
I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. So yeah, thank he's he's a little OP. <laughs> Please take this and leave me to see to Aunt Agna and my other family members. Oh, a thousand friend. gold. Uh, what will you do now? Whatever I can to put my family here back to rest. After that, probably just stick around here. Saw some good game on my way here, and I'd like to stay close for a while. All right. Live a life worth. Glad you're here. Goodbye. Thanks again for your help. So yeah, so um, he's a little low P. So be prepared um for an actual fight. I'm using actually a perk overhaul, but that's you know beside the point. But I, yeah, he he he's a little low P. <laughs> he's a little overpowered. Of course, he's level thirty, and I'm only level what? Twenty three. And yet I was able to do that without cheesing it. I, I don't know if you could call it cheesing, but whatever. Whatever, I guess. Diamond, that's worth some money. <laughs> Glass armor! Anyways, guys, I hope this video helped you out. If you did enjoy it, um, if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, and subscribe to the channel. And also join the Discord for more up-to-date content. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a fantastic day. Goodbye.